Welcome back to the best Karen Freakouts channel on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy. Starting things off, we have this Karen who can't decide what way to film her victims. Who are you? You guys are so privileged and obnoxious, it's rude. I asked you to move your bikes. You're sitting with your bikes in the driver's seat. Hey, you came running at me, okay? Hey, I'm not done, okay? I would you not call the police. Call the police. We'll move on. Like, this is stupid. Yeah. I don't know why you're Some, still standing here. here. This is so on. upsetting. I have every right to be here just like you do. Okay? It's not worth it, guys. It's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it. I'm you completely happy to call the police at this point. If Great. anybody wants that, do you want that? I'm not doing anything. Because she it, came running at me. She came hey, running listen. at me, actually. So if you do want to call the police, that would be great. <laughs> Being a delivery driver can be quite a stressful job, especially when you have Karens like this one. Why are you, uh, why what are you doing? Why are you doing a goose chase? Why are you uh, following me? Because I have somebody that lives in that area and why did you go through it like you did? Because I'm doing a job. I'm a delivery driver. Why didn't you stop and deliver? Because I couldn't find the house. You didn't try. I followed you. It was this business. Did you not just see me walk through? No. Why are you following me? Because I think you're suspicious. Okay. Does that uh, agree? Uh, I mean, that's your opinion, but who are you? Are you the cops? No, but I'm, uh, like, I have a husband that is. Okay, what are you gonna, what's he gonna do about it? Nothing. Check your license plate, I guess. Good. Okay. Just keep an eye on where you're at. Okay. I, I don't mean to be mean. But, I, but it's just too much. They've had too much uh, happen in that area. And so... Uh, That's too bad. Know, what? That's not my fault. Well, you had something to deliver. No. And you had I don't have, I don't have, I have proof. You want to check my car? What's up? I'm not checking your car. Leave people alone. Don't bother people like this. Don't go through neighborhoods that you don't know where... You. It's a private, public place, you Here's a Kevin that gets mad and aggressive at a dog park. Afraid of the dog park. Okay. Oh, I don't want that. That dog can't go. I'll shut the car off there. Hey, 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 yeah, I'll see you out there. I'm parked right there. Fine. Seemed a little aggressive. McDonald's seemed to have some of the wildest freakouts, just like from this next Kevin. Instead of calling me a snack, just call me a candle. Because I smell good, I'm fired, and I'll burn this whole mother out if you play with me. What are you talking about? This Karen never believes she's doing anything wrong, even when the cops arrive. How may I help you? My McDouble is cold. Can you replace it? One moment. You can pull to the rail. Pass the two windows. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Hi. My McDouble was cold. Can you replace it? I need your McDouble. Okay, you can make my other McDouble and we can trade off. Hi. I didn't hear you. You can make my other McDouble and we can trade off. No, we don't trade off. In order for us to replace the sandwich, we have to get the sandwich that was Could long. you please remake my McDouble? We will remake it once we get the old sandwich. Okay, can I have my receipt? Because I never got it either. I'm sorry. Can, you can I have my receipt? 
Yeah, we'll get you a receipt. We have to print it out. Okay, give me my receipt. I'll stay right here. You can't stay right here, boo. You gotta pull up to the rail. Okay, I ain't your boo, but I'll stay right here. Please give me another McDouble. We will once we receive the old McDouble. Okay, give me another McDouble. Mr. Police Department. So what, what's going on over here? Officer Barron, this McDonald's gave me cold food and they won't replace it or give me my money back. Okay. Have you tried to give the food back to them at all? Well, McDonald's said that they don't give back food over the counter because of his foodborne illness. And then this restaurant keeps giving me cold food and it's the closest one to my house. So they told me to record so that they can know the treatment. Okay. Um, from what I'm hearing from the manager, they said they tried to refund you and tried to give you the. the she re, never tried uh, to. I would take my refund right now. Okay. I take my refund. Okay. I I will take my refund. It's okay. No, when it comes to the sandwiches, we must take the order back in order to replace your order. That's all we told her. She told. I take my refund. She can have it. I'll put it in bag. I can take my refund. Could you have a take? Give my refund first. Yeah. Oh. Never now said that. Has to leave the property. You're gonna have to take it up the corporate. Yeah, they, they okay. Don't want she just said she'll give me my refund. So can I wait for my refund? Okay, ma'am. You're being asked to leave the property. Yeah, you have to take everything else up with corporate. But right now, they don't want you here. Okay. I really yeah. just want my refund. Can I get You've my been refund? You to leave the property. If you don't leave the property, you will be arrested for trespass. Can I have your name, officer? Sergeant Coolenschmidt, badge number 56. Can you spell right it for me, please? Is it K-U-H-L-E-N-S-C-H-M-D-T? Again, that was K-U-H-L-E-N-S-C-H-M-D-T. And you are um, a, what does that say, a sergeant? sergeant now leave the property okay thank you mr sergeant 56 right thank you karen's just love to freak out over the slightest inconvenience you are jennifer girl because y'all are not the same person i'm not the same person jennifer does work here but that's my way but she using you then she using your whole picture because y'all coming from who do you think is in the wrong? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Karen's love to get in everyone's business. However, that's not all, as they always seem to call the cops also. Who are these people here at this storage facility at this time of night? Hey, Miss Guy, these are contractors for me. I don't give a I'm calling the I'm calling the police, okay? They have no they have no business being here 
at this time of night. I just left Miss Scott, but let me call my courtesy officer and send him over there. She said she's going to call the courtesy officer. I heard her. Okay. I heard her. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Buck. Buck, come on. Let's go. Let's go. What do you smell on them, huh? She called me a smell something on you. What the what is going on, man? I don't care who you think you are. Remember Home Depot, Karen? Well, she's shown her face once again. Check it out. But they're free will. So, therefore, I don't even need to have other actors play people. Like, my stepmom can play herself. I don't even have to try to figure out who looks like her now because she ruined herself with all... Well, she ruined herself with all that Botox. She used to be beautiful. She was even still kind of pretty in um, Bermuda, and she didn't have too much Botox at the time. Now she's, like, and her face... Like, I... I'm honestly like can't even say she's pretty anymore and I don't want to say the same thing to my sister that's following in her footsteps but like I can't even see her beautiful face anymore either good thing though I spoke to a friend who's a nurse Whew. Botox takes about four to six years to get out of your body the fillers all that jazz thank god your beautiful faces may or may not be able to return back to the original natural state with the beautiful genes that we were blessed with um, okay, back to the drum roll here because my coffee's about to be ready. And the name of the film will be Are You Ready for This? It is going to be The Cash Not. This lady was told a racial slur, so she questioned another employee, and this was the reaction. You didn't hear him say on their recording? I refuse to make a comment. Right, now you refuse to make a comment. That's okay, because y'all been sued either way it go. That's fine. All Scott, the ones that are here are going to be involved. You have corporate numbers. No, I don't. Give it. me Just corporate like, number. I don't have it. You can now you it don't up. have it. You can go I in the back and get it. I have never had corporate number. You can go in the back and get it, so don't make up an no, excuse. I've never had corporate number. Now, now you don't have corporate you number. Do. You don't Google. feel the same way I do. No, you don't. Never said no, you don't. No. You act like you didn't hear what he said. So that means you go along with it. Your race is just like I he am is. I'm not racist. I'm yes, you are. I'm asking you to kindly yes, you are. please leave. Thank you After you business. give me. You have a good day. Karen seemed to get mad over the slightest inconveniences, especially when asked to do something. Oh, no, you're discriminating against me. I need to breathe air. Right. They're on their way. Okay. All right. You don't have no balls. You're a Because you have the law on your side to protect and not discriminate against people. And you do not have the law on your side to discriminate. No, I'm not breaking the law. I have the rights. Code 51. Yeah, this is America. It's America. Little no dope ball hat. Next up, we all know Karens love to go above and beyond with their arguments with workers, just like this next one. I want you to look at that camera. What a bleep. I need them now because I can press salt charges and you shouldn't have grabbed me. I can press the salt charges. And you look at you. And stop walking up on me. I can I can press the salt charges on you. What is your... You're the aggressor. You walked up on me and touched really? me. I'm sorry. I'm the aggressor, but I'm not fine. I'm going to record her. You pushed me out. <laughs> It's equal turns when you touch somebody. You know that, right? Do you know your life? I never touched you, bro. Okay. You're out with me. I got witnesses. I got witnesses. It's fine. You are a goddamn liar. Can you please go to the camera? Please. This lady was on the phone and the other lady was on the phone. Please go to the camera. I'm tight my phone down in my purse. Please. I have no reason to lie to y'all. Yeah. I'm here to get my script. Okay. That's all I was here to do. Just... Look at this. 
I did not touch one of y'all, but you touched me three times. And you touched me multiple no, times. I did not. Putting your body on somebody is not. touching somebody. No, you chest butt me multiple times all up on me. I want the camera. Uh huh. We're going to get that camera too. We sure is. I we want sure the footage. are. I mm -hmm. want that footage right now. You can't get the police will. You can't get it, but the police will. The police will. Right now. The police will. They can't give you nothing. The police can though. But if you can get it. They can't. can't you get it. They can't. They're going to give it to the police. Yeah, we don't have any access. We, we will wait until the officers get here. Yeah, we have to wait. Why do you have to wait? Because we don't have that. It's protocol. How do you not have At every store. You have access At every store. store. They have sitting here. Are they here? They have to send it out and get it copied. We don't have access to copy. We can look at it, but that's it. We can't, like. So where's your boss? We are. We're management. You're, you're gonna call your boss right mm. now. We are the boss. We are management here, so we're working with you, but you gotta calm down. All right. Well, I need to let my driver know. This Karen is too good not to show. Roll the clip. Or in my space, and you grab my phone, you grab my arm, and you pushed up against me with your butt. I know I'm gorgeous, but you have to control yourself, ma'am. No, that's not true. Yeah, you're right. I can still think I'm beautiful. Moving along, this Karen loses the plot over no fresh cookies when she arrived. This my this my McDonald's never had my mother fresh cookies. I got a call every time for my Hi, fresh guys. cookies. Hi. Hi, can I have you pull over to the side right now, please? Are y'all gonna have my fresh cookies? Yes. Please. And how long? How long? Two minutes. Is that Two, more minutes? Yeah. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. God damn. And what's your name? You the new manager? I'm the manager here. The new one, right? Yeah. Damn, two more minutes. I'm going to put, I'm going I'm going to ask you next time I come, can y'all please have some fresh cookies? Cause uh, I call. I literally call. I literally call and make orders every time. It's not okay, fine. Go ahead and pull over, please. Damn, for three cookies? I gotta pull up for three cookies? Okay, that's fine. Two okay, minutes? Have a great day. All right. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter if you record, I'm being nice to you, okay? All right, well close the close okay. the damn thing. Can you you said you was gonna Yep, I am. Can you please pull over? I am. Okay, um, can I have your money back, please? I'm gonna ask you too nice to leave. Okay? All right, give me my damn money for sure, because y'all got some raggedy employees anyway. I don't want y'all cookies. The mother up in there showing each other manicures. And manicures? That's what y'all got? Give me my money back. Give me my mother money back. I'm gonna tag you too. I'm gonna tag you on Facebook, for, so look for me. Because this is ridiculous. I got a call every time for some fresh cookies at McDonald's. Why well, I got a call every time? This is ridiculous. Okay. You want to do that same thing? I could do it to them. Yeah, my name is Brandy Wooten. Follow me on Facebook. The Brandy Hive going up. Woo, 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 woo. I really do this. I'm a real blogger, though, honey. Where's my money? Can I have my money? You already didn't threaten me. You was going to cash me my money, so give me my money. Damn. All right, hurry up, then, because you that's what you said. You said you was going to give me my money, so give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Where's my money? Give me my money. Thank you, boo. I will never come over here again. Look at her raggedy. Remember her face? The brandy hive going up, and I will leave when I want to. Have a great day, I will you too. This barista gets verbally abused by the daughter of a Karen. She retorts, and Mother Karen takes over. Seriously. Uh, what can I get for No, I, they know one going doing nothing until they bring a supervisor over here. And I'm dead serious. She's disrespecting she's a ten-year-old. She's talking. She's so I need a supervisor now. Because I wasn't being rude to you. I wasn't yelling at you or nothing. But once you disrespect my child, then yes, I have a problem. I was being very respectful to you. I wasn't raising my voice okay. or nothing. But you're going to disrespect my kid. This is over a cup, guys. No, you're disrespecting my over daughter. That's what it's over. Dude, first off, she's calling her a My daughter stepped she's in. I'm trying to calm myself down after she disrespected my 10 year old daughter. We have so, witnesses here, so we can do that too. Oh, that's yeah, fine. Oh, she, yeah, they could rewind ahead. the cameras. Do not disrespect my daughter, like I said. I didn't Once say you, anything. What, she Man. wants to want, you really want to say something? She started calling her a 
and my daughter told her not to be disrespecting her tia like that. And you she started. Me? You are she one. started yelling at my 10 year old daughter. I didn't yell at her, first of all. I did not you said, yell at her. Who are you? Exactly. I didn't say that. Yes, did yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Not only that, regardless of how rowdy my sister and I'm getting, she should not be talking to customers that way. That's how Starbucks is representing Starbucks, and I will no longer buy from Starbucks then. But like I said, I wasn't disrespecting her. I wasn't getting out nothing. But once you disrespect my 10 year old daughter, regardless of how my 10 year old daughter's acting, that's when I got a problem. And like I said, if she's gonna disrespect my 10 year old daughter, then she can take her outside so I can whoop her ass. And I'm not playing. Okay. I, I, yeah, she needs to be recommended for the way she's acting. I, 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 I will speak with her. I don't, I obviously was not here to see what I want her name. I want her name. Because Hannah. I want her name because I'm calling corporate. I want her name. And I'm serious, I want her name, and if she does not give me her name, I will take a picture of her and I will send it to corporate. Go ahead, take a picture of me. She's not allowed to. We have come across a racist Kevin. There's some working here, they're legal. Yes, sir. He's calling the sheriff right now. Call the immigration. Yes, please. There's one, two, three ladies that don't have papers. Yes, sir. I swear to God, I'm an American citizen. I want to be in Nam, mm -hmm. and I want you to go get her. Yes, sir. I'm going to wait outside. Call the immigration. Please. He's calling the sheriffs. I'm calling the immigration. You suck my It's good to see that there are still some great souls out there supporting others from racist Kevins. To tell you that it's not a calm situation. It's maybe calm for you because you don't give a f because you think you have the right to tell whoever you want to come in, but you don't. It's a you said on the phone. I have the right to tell whoever to let in. No, you don't. You don't have the right to discriminate in this country. It's a crime. For reservation. On the basis of race. Do you? Do you? Yes or no? Do you? My brother, don't interrupt. This is what happened. Okay. This man right here, Tabiso, came in yesterday. Okay. Right. Moments after Jordan came in. Moments after. Okay. Your bouncer stopped him and said, Why are you going in? Who are you going into? Okay. okay. He said, Why are you asking me? He said, You can't come in here unaccompanied without a white person. He said, What? He said, You can't come in here without a white person. If you come in here, I know what you like. You steal, you guys cause trouble. You need to come in here with a white person. He asked him, who decides this? This is what the bosses have told me. Then Jordan, not knowing where Tabiso is, goes out and sees the bouncer re-explain this and says it to him again and says, it's not me who decides, it's the policy. Now I'm sure if this had to get out, there's a lot more people that have experienced this. This is firstly a crime. I'm not done speaking. When I'm done, I'll give you an opportunity. It's firstly a crime in this country. Do you know where you exist? You exist in South Africa, where we have a deeply painful history of the Secondly, this will blow up an institution like Hans. You're known. You're not a somewhere in the middle of nowhere. You can't be doing that. You will become like clicks overnight. You have protesters outside your door. Do you think this is all right? Is this the practice of the business? Is this how you've decided and instructed your bouncers to do? Speak. You clearly know about this. Well, listen, we've been trading for eight years. We've never had an incident ever before. And I can speak for our barman. And uh, we've got an eclectic, I mean, I What are you saying? Listen. Address Just the on. issue. Just hang on a second. Eclectic, what the we, we've got a, we've never had a, a, a race issue now before. Is that, is that correct, Danny, or not? Okay. So what does that mean? But, uh, what the f*** does I'm that still, mean? I'm building up to He's what aware of it. Say. He's aware of it. I've heard of you it. Have a the friend doesn't stop there. Take a look. It. I've heard of you it. You have a f*** reputation of, of the sh Look, I'm going to have to find my, my bouncer. No, it's he, not your f bouncer. Not, An individual not, doesn't decide the Institutional policy. It's not my policy, brother. I've never what? Ever, ah, did he ever. decide that on his own? Do you think he yeah. decided that on his own? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So he's lying. He's lying. Is that what you 
Okay. You told me you have the right. That's what you told me. I never said I had the, uh, to let in who you want. No. You don't. Listen, brother. You don't. Listen, just calm down, brother. Don't tell me to calm down. You better calm down. No, calm no, no. I'm not calm. This is Listen. not a calm situation. Okay, I promise. Stop saying you've never. You're dealing with it now. I, I don't give a f that you've had it in the past. That you haven't. Wait, this wait. is where you are. Look at this man in the eye. If you give a f and apologize, maybe that's a good place to f start. Maybe that's a good place to start. Look, Don't tell us about a bouncer. No one's gonna believe that. No one takes that for that man works for someone. You tell him who to let in and who not. I, that's how that works, okay? My brother, I don't-, don't I'm not your brother. Listen, I've never had an issue with You have before. this now. Okay, but listen, I, I, I've got to speak to the bouncer. I am dealing with it, look, I, okay, I do apologize. Look him in the eyes and tell him you're sorry. Don't just say, I apologize. Recognize the seriousness of this situation. I am doing you a courtesy by coming here. My first instinct, go to the police. It's a crime in this country. A good colleague of mine works for the Sunday Times. They have a field day with this. The EFF will be outside here tomorrow. Yeah, but brother, you can't, you can't judge me. I'm not, I'm, I'm judging this institution. This institution has a race you at the door. Start. And do you own it? Are you an owner? Yes, I am. Okay. But so are you accountable for its actions? I've never had. Oh, do you take here. responsibility for the actions? I do. Good. So let's start with the. Now watch as Kevin is told to apologize. Responsibility for the actions. I do. Good. So let's start with the apology. I Look him in the eyes and apologize. I'm, I'm, I am. I'm deeply sorry about that. I don't think you mean what you're saying. Man. How, how can you say that? You should start with that. You came in saying you've never had it before. You have a policy. Maybe you need to make a point. This is what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to tell you, you've got a few options here. You decide to either try and make the situation right, deal with it in a serious way, or we're going to walk out the door, go to the police, go to the press, and make a storm out of this. And I will rededicate my life to dealing with this. Okay, so what would you like to do? Think about it, man. Think about what you want to do. I did apologize to the No, it's worse than a apology you need to decide as an institution how to deal with this who else runs this show is it just you are you the sole owner no, I've okay. got a partner. maybe phone your partner and decide how you want to deal with this and we'll wait but i'm telling you this is not going away it's not going away we're gonna wait here Moving forward, we have come across a crazy Karen attacking these teens. The world star. What's the world star? Are you kidding me? Listen. That's all he can do. Because you know what? Real men, real men, they're over there and they are balling. Really, really. And you got no skills and that's why you're out here with your big mouth. Show what you can do. Show us what you can do. Oh, boy. She just called me boy. That's crazy. Bigger. You gotta check the nails. Check the nails. That's actually nice. What did you get them done? That's beautiful. That's genuinely that you nailed it. Go on and say cheese. 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 Yeah, cheese, yeah, cheese, yeah, cheese. Oh, you're both on the park. Wow! <laughs> it made me laugh. You guys are buy you a bra for your little. I got you, bro. Yo, yo, yo! Take a flick, flick again, flick again, right here, flick again. <laughs> yo, yo.